What if I told you you could unlock your car from hundreds of feet away outside of the normal range of your key fob using only a water bottle? So instead of having to go back to your car and spamming the lock button to make sure it's actually locked, you can do it from here and lock your car. Turns out there's a simple trick. Take your water bottle, press it to the key, and press the button. Press the button. There we go. And now your water bottle is a magical range extender. Okay, it's not really magic, there's some science behind it, and using this science you can also discover that you can unlock your car using your head. But how does that work, and what is the new limit to how far you can go with your new range extender? I'll explain that and more in just a sec. Hello people of the internet, I'm Nico, a guy who got the vaccine that obviously has a microchip in it and now allows me to control my car, and today you will learn the key to unlocking your car from far away. But first, let's answer the biggest question, from how far away can you actually unlock your car? Well, to find out, let's test just the normal keys range, which for most cars is about 10 to 20 yards, but let's be sure about it. It's a good thing I tested the actual range of my key because boy was I off. 10 to 20 yards? Yeah, try over 60 yards. That's how far away I could get. The other thing I noticed was that depending on how I held the key, I got different ranges. Pointing the key at the car did not work all that well, but pointing it straight up actually gave me the most range. This will change depending on how the antenna in the key is oriented, as well as how the receiver in the car is oriented, but that's how it was for me. Next was testing the range with my head. It did not double the range like I originally anticipated, but it did add another 27 yards to the original 63 that I got with just the key. Now, keep in mind I had no obstructions blocking the signal, so this was the best case scenario and this will probably also change with each car brand, but figure a roughly 50% increase using your head. Also, putting the key under the chin seemed to work best. The tempo on your head is also a good spot, but I found the signal to be most reliable when I placed the key underneath my chin. As for the water bottle, that was the least consistent out of everything. The key by itself was always within about two feet over the three trial runs that I did, and my head was also somewhat consistent, though less consistent than the key by itself. The water bottle had a range of about five yards between the best and worst ranges. The furthest I got was just under 105 yards, but the average for using the water bottle was about 99 yards. So the first thing we can learn from this is being able to see the car from this far away. If that doesn't prove the earth is flat, then I don't know what will. Also, water amplifies the radio signal a lot, which doesn't make any sense at all. If you're studying radio waves, you may already know this, but for those of you who don't, the signal your car uses to play music or that your phone uses to make a phone call, that signal does not travel through water all that well, and if it's salty water, then it's even harder. So why would the water in your head then amplify the radio signal of your car key? Well, I'll spare you the details, but basically, when you fire the radio signal into the water, the molecules that make up water end up replicating that radio signal. And to better understand this, let me give you a little demonstration. In the form of a little dance with my cameraman, Zach. Okay, here is a water molecule, and with some editing magic, Zach is the two hydrogen molecules, and I am the oxygen. The hydrogen is positively charged, and the oxygen is negatively charged, and these two opposite charges are oscillating. This is actually what happens in the antenna of your phone. There are positive and negative charges alternating and thereby creating radio waves, which then travel to a radio tower and to all the other members of the boys group chat, which hopefully never sees the light of day. So to sum it all up, your head or water bottle, as long as they are touching your key, will act like a larger antenna extending the range. So, if you ever lose your car in the parking lot, now you can use this trick and you can find your car more easily. If you want to learn how transparent solar panels work and how buildings and cars can use them, then you can watch this video here. If you want to support the channel so I can afford to pay my cameraman and Oreo milkshakes, then you can go to my Patreon page. There's a link down in the description. Until next time, people of the internet, peace out.